Roblox is a game platform riddled with tons upon dozens of games. And within this, there's sometimes going to be some that uh, fall in the cracks that are a bit interesting or weird. Uh, obviously, it's gained a reputation of this. Uh, today, I'm not going to be showing those that are completely out there, but I'm going to be showing some games that are just kind of questionable as to why uh, so many kids are able to play them and uh, why they're presented in the way that they are. So, um, hope you guys enjoy. My name is Blue Digit. If you haven't already subscribed, please do if you don't hate orphans. And uh, these are the uh, few offensive Roblox games that I found. <laughs> enjoy. The first game I want to talk about was this Palestine Israel game. The moment I saw it, I knew exactly that it was just kind of baiting out people like having their own political opinions about the war, which I totally understand um, having opinions on it, but kind of putting that into a kid's game. I mean, you'll see in the game that, like, you know, they have all these love signs, these peace signs, that they want, you know, everything's going to be good. It definitely paints the wrong picture when you're having just a bunch of minors and open VC with no moderation in it just for people to yell at each other. I would like to show you guys something here that we're going to be playing or at least checking out that I think is kind of wild. Guys, start, start, um, time up. Start donating <laughs> uh, Palestine in Israel. I'll tell you what. You like Israel? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me do something real quick. Let me update. At first, I don't like Israel. He's Fix your house mic. House. Fix your mic, bud. Really bad. <laughs> I have to hold you. How old are you? Probably like six or something. You're probably one. You can't be talking with your other Shut the fuck up. You don't even have clothes. Get some clothes on, bitch. <laughs> Don't have a bedtime instead of cursing. Is- are you hearing this? Okay, yo, you're done, you're done, you're done. Okay. Blue, look, at, look at my- look at my shirt, Blue. Look at my shirt. Oh, thank you, you Pookie. What is up with it? No war. Dude, this is wild where you have, like, fucking Palestine towers and then Israel fucking flags everywhere with, like, playgrounds and tree houses. Like, this is some crazy shit. Bro, I think you're in the wrong time period. What do you want? What? No, I I'm American. I I'm I'm American. Yeah, but what do you support? Palestine or Israel? I support America. Okay, I don't fucking care. I'M AMERICAN! I'M AMERICAN! Nobody fucking cares, bitch. I'M AMERICAN! Oh, what the fuck up? With your white ass, bitch. Oh, Daddy, you're gonna do nothing. You know what? Say all you want, but at least in the land of the free, I don't have a bedtime, unlike you. You see that guy have a sign say praise Jesus Christ and he got just blown up? No, 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 That was interesting. Alright, so this next game, uh, I'm actually gonna give like a little bit of a warning just cause it is pretty, it's offensive to the highest degree I'd say out of all these. Um, this game is going back to a very specific historical event. Um, it is pretty funny just because it adds on like these little cat ears and noises, but I mean if you know, you know, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Such horror. This is this is an eight player lot. Hold on. C come join come join this. We're gonna I don't wanna kill fellow Why what? did you sign up Geneva? No 100 Marley, type 100. No fucking way. Wait, do you actually get a type 100? Yeah, bro. The fuck <gasps> is this? Oh my god! What team am I? I'm part of the Japanese- wait, what? I wasn't exactly listening to what my friend said the best, but uh, you'll see later I find out for myself, and yeah. This was the first red flag. Oh my gosh! Is this what I think this is? Oh my god, there's a sword! Okay. <laughs> come here, Seb. Seb, come here. Look, look. 
Hmm, is that China? <laughs> Yo, why are we killing rice farmers? Sam, what the fuck is this? What is this? Hey! Hey! Dude, the only thing that's making this somewhat better is the fact that some of them have cat ears. But, like, this is so blatantly... It's a little messed up, bro. Oh my god, the auto They're lined up over here! No vagina no They're literally lined up. Oh my god! Hold on, hold on. I take my gun out. This is just like real life. Dude, I, I hate the fact that they just start. I mean, the buildings look cool. Oh, here's a child. I found a child. Oh my god! There's someone called the Japanese. Wait a minute. No, no, no. No! Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, no. Where the. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. I know this is way worse than more. No okay, and then I'm gonna dip yeah, because what event is, what event is it? What I will text it. I, I literally can't say it on stream. Like that that's how bad it is. The Joe Biden I found Joe Biden! And he's black! Okay, so for the rest of this time, more or less, all I do is just keep looking around the map because there are some funny things. Like, you know, I found Joe Biden, you know, there's some other memes that are funny, but it's like the overall nature of this to me is just tasteless. And I think anyone that says otherwise yeah now granted i mean like i do think it's funny i think there's a lot of dark jokes here that you know i can understand why they're just jokes like for example they're not completely dying not seeing blood and guts but like the whole nature of it and if you know the historical event is referencing you can see why it would be pretty i think illogical for kids to be playing this so for the haha -ha funnies kind of but i please do not be searching out this game please just like just saying i don't think a 10 year old should be playing that Okay, so, um, this is actually the game that made me decide to make this video. There's not really a whole lot wrong with it, but the only thing that does bother me is the title. Now, maybe I don't know if it's referencing something completely different, but when I read that title, to me, that's not family-friendly. And, again, I don't understand why you'd have to have, um, some kid reading that and be like, Yep, that's okay for me. Dude, it's eliminated. <laughs> I want to see what the eliminated is. What is this? Oh, that's the Nicki Minaj gag city. Can we play Home Alone? I was about to, I was about to say yeah, it's queen. Yeah, it's queen. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, like slay! My god. Really? This is what twelve-year-olds want to fucking do? Wait. I thought it was water. Can I? Can I have a slice of that pizza? Though? So, anyways, I thought it was water, and then it turned out it was not water. Mr. Digit, chat. are you okay? Now you see, this is the time that I kind of was, just was done with all of it. I know a lot of my friends there were joking about it, but I, you know, I couldn't shake it off, especially after that. And in my mind, it just came down to the idea that, like, again, kids are playing this, and I don't think it should be wrong in me or abnormal for me to think that this is just kind of weird, because I do. Especially when a lot of it, I mean, like, the games themselves usually aren't that bad. Usually they just seem like cash grabs, but... The fact that you have to use such methods that they barely get in between the lines just for kids to play them and, you know, get their money. I do think that's what's going on here. And I think I do think it's weird. Again, maybe I'm looking into it a little too deep, but some of this just feels ratty to me. However, there's one game that's worse above all else. I do not think any single human being in sight should ever witness what I have. Be out of there, but like, it. Uh... Are you fucking... World. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> if I join this, and the first thing I hear is. <laughs> Yippee. Don't turn the music off because you can't turn it back on. <laughs> Weezer World is. Jump on it! Do a flip! Do a flip! Hello guys, my name is Blue Digit, and thank you for watching the whole video. Uh, obviously that Weezer bit was just a complete joke, so like, don't take that seriously, that, you know, I don't mind anything with that. However, the other three, yeah, I unironically do. And I was just gonna kinda like, leave this as just a joke video, but, you know, being completely honest with you guys, I feel like, even though my friends are joking about it, I got serious about it. Um, and I didn't really enjoy half of what I've seen at all. Um, and I think the main reason for it was, 
You know, I'm okay with edgy jokes. You'll see edgy stuff on YouTube all the time. If you haven't laughed at a single edgy joke in your life or offensive joke, I don't think you're telling the truth, to be honest. Everyone's at least laughed at something like that, at least if it's slightly. But the problem here is the fact that these have connotations to it that I don't think kids should be surrounded by. And they're just so barely offensive that kids can slip to the cracks to see this. And let me mind you, this is on the front page. I don't have to, like, dig for this at all. So, like, a prime example is the Gag City one, right? Sure, by itself, you know, it's just a little dress-up fashion game and whatever. And maybe, you know, Nicki Minaj has a different term for it or a different meaning. But when I see Gag City, I don't want, you know, if I were to have a kid, them saying that out loud. That's weird. That's really weird for them to be like, oh, yeah, mom and dad, I'm playing Gag City. Like, I'm not sure that's something that we should see as normal at all. And the other two as well. The second one, I'm pretty sure was based on an event in World War II. I'm not even going to be able to say it out loud. Um, I'm sure you guys can infer it for yourself if you're old enough, but it's, you know, pretty messed up. And then the first one, you know, I don't really have an, exa an exact problem with, you know, wanting people to get together. But when it's made in that context and clearly nothing's being moderated... I do think it was just put there to, you know, get some clicks, get some views, and monetize off of just for these kids to be yelling at each other. And I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. Now, again, I don't know how I feel about a lot of this because I think this kind of arches to a different problem of like, okay, well, how should moderation go? Um, what jokes are okay and what aren't okay? Uh, you know, and, and it's hard for me to jump into that because, you know, I, I believe everyone should have free speech. My main problem, again, is just when you have kids involved in this, expressing their own opinions and being um surrounded by this content that's weird and i'm not a big fan of that at all I, and i don't think that's a hot take at all it, it shouldn't be so i just i want to say that and frankly i hope that there is something that can change this um honestly i kind of want to make another video talking about like you know how maybe we could use the age restriction system to actually make it so like you know if you want to have these games they can be in the higher age restrictions but um for now, here's what I'll leave the video with. Be careful what you guys do. And, you know, I understand everyone, you know, has their own little opinions about things. Uh, obviously, Roblox is a fun place, but, you know, be careful. Take care of each other. And stuff like this shouldn't be the normal around kids. And I really do mean that. And I hope you guys um, share the same opinion as me. So, um, these aren't the worst of the worst. Those are a bit more hidden. But the fact that these are the front page, that should say something about the community that, you know, Roblox as it is by itself, we're surrounded by. And uh, I just kind of want to leave it at that. So you guys stay blessed as always. Smile, keep it up. And uh, let's fight for the future so bright. See what you My name is Wood of Sangout. I'll see you guys in the next one.